What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today. as we hang out for a little while and play a game called The Chemist. I think this game's gonna be kind of interesting. It's a game that's it's a lot like Gold Rush in that like it's one of those weird games that's entertaining. Basically what you've got to do is you've got to like mix drinks and energy drinks and all kinds of like poisons and stuff like that inside your apartment in order to make money. And you do that by looking at the various stats and allocations that you need. And so if there's any chemists in the audience, they'll probably enjoy it a lot. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and start our game off. We're going to play some Chemist. Yep, go time. Let's do this thing. I saved you a place at the table. All right, so welcome to our apartment. It's filthy, it's awful, it's dingy, and it looks like trash. This place is the worst. I don't want to know what the rent is we play on this place, but it's probably too damn high. Uh, we've got our post box right there. We've got our neighbors over there who look like they've got some kind of delivery. What you guys got in your packages, though? What's up with this? So you've got, apparently we're like in, it's a Russian e-packet. And then this right here definitely looks like it's been through the wash a couple of, oops. Well, let's walk away. I probably just broke his, I probably just broke his new laptop or something and I just don't want to be around for this. So welcome to the apartment building. Uh, this is the room where we're going to be doing all of our science. We're going to be doing all kinds of science here. And so the first thing we need to do is we need to track down a job for ourselves. Over on this side, we've got something for a liquid lipstick. That's kind of hard. I don't know if I can do that. We've got some bubble bath over here that needs to be foamy. We can make some ice cream. It's got to have taste, it's got to have density, and it's got to taste like cherry. So that might be a little bit difficult. I don't think we're going to get paid very much for that, though. We can do it with a body cleansing lotion, a mold remover. We've got a body cleansing lotion over here. I think that, like, bubble bath, I'm sorry, ice cream might be the only one we can pull off. I'll sign the contract to invent a new bubble bath. So if we press tab, we know that its density needs to be between 30 and 65%. We know that its taste needs to be between 30 and 85%. And its smell needs to be between 5 and 40%. And so basically the way that this goes is that we are going to take a look. Close that down. We need something that adds a lot of density. So what's got a lot of density inside of it? We got crude oil right there. We've got polyvinyl acetate. We've got YRK, chlorine. Uh, what's got some good density here? We've got, what's got like, I need something with like some decent density to it. That's probably something like yeast or some kind of like plasticized, I don't know. So we've got steric acid. That's not what I'm looking for. And it's also got to taste like cherry. I forgot about that. It's got to have the essence of cherry in it too. A moist bomb. Uh, we've got, ah, there it is. So we've got a hard CCK chemical hardener. That might be a little bit too much. It's a little expensive. We've also got a chemical reaction retarder. We've got fructose right there. That'd work. Yeah. That'll work. Let's go with fructose, although that's kind of expensive. But I think that'll do it. So there, we've got fructose. You can see that on the table over there. So they gave us a vial of fructose. Um, the other thing that we were going to need is we probably want some monosodium glutamate because that's going to add a whole bunch of flavor to it. And then what else did we need? So we needed taste, we needed smell, and we needed density. What did we have for the... So with this right here for the fructose, that had density, 35%. It also had flavor. So realistically... If we get something else in there that also has density and has smell, I think we'll be alright. Yeast will do it, but yeast is a little expensive. So I need density and I need smell are the two that we're looking for. A short-term preservative might do it. Oh, that might add too much to the taste. I don't know. Apple extract will add a little bit more and a little bit of smell as well. Let's go with the cherry extract, I guess. We've already spent, like, all of the money that we have. We're a little bit broke at the moment. It's okay. I can reset the game if we need to. And then what we need is an empty flask, which is right there. We've got our empty flask. Let me clean all this trash out of the way. We've got an egg carton on top of our mixer. So we'll take that up right there. Let me get you. And let me see what my targets are that we're shooting for. So we want 30% density. So we wanted... Cherry extract and we'll go with fructose first and so with fructose we'll go ahead and put a little bit of that in there So that's gonna be like a quarter of our mixture already uh, Cherry extract is probably a good thing to have in there. So we'll add like a little bit of that right there There we go. Oh No, don't spill don't spill don't spill you were expensive uh, Let's do a little bit more fructose in there 
just to make sure we've got like enough density for what we need. And then we'll also put the monosodium glutamate in there for the rest of the mixture. And so there's our first mixture. We take it over to the mixer, and we drop it on in there. We hit the button. And if it overheats, we gotta hit the button again to keep it from burning our product. But basically we don't know what we have until we put that in there. And so we mix it together inside of here. Then we're gonna take it back on and over to the scanner. And we're gonna see if it has the chemical properties that we want in order to make the game like give us a reward for what we've done. We probably want to stick to fruit related products from here on out because we've already spent a bunch of money. So there's that right there. We got to be careful not to break it. We take it over to our scanner and how's it looking? We've got 52%, 10% smell. It needed 30% density though. It needed 30% density. I think I screwed this one up. Yeah, it needed 30% density. Shit, that's not good. I don't think we had enough thickness in there. I don't think we had enough thickness in there. Yikes. We've got the smell and we've got the flavor down, but we don't have, uh... Yeah, we've got the smell and the flavor down. We don't have the density that we needed, which means that we'd have to go up in here and we'd have to try again. Mm, considering how much money we've already spent, it needed 30% density. Damn, we did so good, too. Okay, so if we needed 30% density, that means we needed more fructose in there, more than likely, I think. Starch would have done it, too. Starch would have done it too, but we're too broke for starch. Instead with the fructose, it's got 35% right there. I mean, honestly, we probably didn't even need to fiddle with it much aside from the fructose. We'll confirm this. Let's try again real fast, and we'll reset our money if we need to. So let's go with 100... Oh, shit. Spilled my monosodium glutamate. Damn. No! I've spilled my flask again. This is definitely one of those games, believe me. I'm going to put those in there. We'll put in 120 of the fructose. That'll get us our starch. We need a cherry extract. So we'll put the rest of the cherry extract inside of there, and hopefully that'll do it. I don't know. We're not going to know until we try to mix it, so pop it in the mixer and let's see what happens. Can I mix it with the door open? I can't. No, the door's got to be closed. All right, close off the trap. Let's see what we got going on here. I think we might be going broke. I think we might be going broke. I mean, if we can, if we can save the... Oh, shit. Turn that off. There we go. That is the most terrifying noise ever. That thing is like a microwave of doom when it goes through there. It makes me just feel terrified. Come on. Don't overheat again. Don't overheat again. Please don't overheat on me. Please don't overheat. All right. Contents do not need mixing. Let's take this to the scanner and see if we did better this time around. So this time around, we've got the... De oh, we're still low on density, man. That's rough. I'll try with this one, though. So what we want to do when we want to deliver this is you take it over this green pad over here. You drop it on there. And as far as ice cream goes, you submit it. It'll give you this package. And then what'll happen is you'll go back around and you're going to put it inside of the post box. And then we're going to fail the mission because we didn't do the thing that they told us to do. So anyways, let me reset my cash real fast. You don't start with a lot of cash in the stash to screw up with. And so, you know, all it takes is that one. All it takes is that one. I'll be right back. And apparently that's what I get for putting the game on challenging. Let's get back in here. We got some more chemical concoctions to make. So let's find a new contract here so that we're not quite wasting our time like we were before. That's actually a pretty easy one. It just needs to be a little bit acidic. It's not that bad. Shaving gel. Soy sauce isn't that bad either, although it's got to be a little bit acidic. We've also got a home scent right there. Does your house smell like a garbage truck? Yeah, it doesn't. My house smells fine, but... Let's try with this first, because I think this is going to be pretty easy. So for this soy sauce here, we've taken a contract for soy sauce. So we need 0 to 29% acidity. That means we can just leave that alone. That's not even that big of a deal. The next thing we need is 31% flavor at the bare minimum. I think we can do this really, really easily if we just go with MSG. And so where is MSG at? Monosodium glutamate. Uh, I think that's going to do it for us. So we've got monosodium glutamate. Easy enough. That's going to give us the flavor and the acidity. And so now we just need 6% smell. 6% smell. We could probably just do that with herbal extract. Although that casts a thousand. Good lord. That's super expensive. Uh, we need something with a good smell additive. That's going to make this easy. And does it need to be an essence or anything? It does not. So what do I have that's cheap here? We got raw... No... Something that gives me smell, but is also really cheap. Oyster will work. I mean, it gives it shellfish. I don't know if that's going to matter. 
You can also get very, very expensive additives that are only that thing, and that makes your life really easy when it comes to mixing. We got ginger root. That adds acidity. That might work. I mean, we didn't need that much smell, did we? We needed 6%. Yeah, that's cheap enough. We'll go with ginger root. There we go. That'll do it. So these two right here should be good enough to get us there. Let's make a flask. And so we've got a free flask right there. Put the flask on the table. And with the ginger root, I think I'm going to go like... How much did I need? I needed 6% smell. So let's put in like... Oop, that was way too much. Good, sweet baby Jeebus. I overdid that one. Definitely overdid that one. Let's maybe just drop like a little bit in there. And we'll kind of see what pops out. We'll kind of see what pops out. There we go. We'll put that over there. Hopefully the acid... I'm sorry. Hopefully the smell is good enough. I hope. Eh, we'll see what happens. There we go. Your soy sauce is going to smell weirdly like ginger. What is soy sauce made out of? It's probably made out of just soy, right? Like soy and SMG? Uh, or uh, SMG. MSG. You've got a gun inside your soy sauce. You open up the little tiny packet to put it on your rice. And it's like... I'm like, all right then. That's pretty gangster. Is it just soy? Or is there other stuff in there? All right, let's take this back to the scanamajig. Oh, I think we got it. I think we got it. How much smell did I need? How much smell did I need? 7%. We good, G. We're done here. Let's pop this one off right here. And we've still got stuff left over, too. So we'll submit that. It's going to turn it into a crate. And then we'll carry it over here. We only got a little bit of prestige for that right there. But that's okay. I will take that right there. And the soy sauce that we have fabricated in here. We'll be ready to go. We succeeded and we got paid $400. We only lost like $26 on that one. Not too bad. Now if the other job for soy sauce is still up, we'll take that one too. And we'll do the exact same thing. So that's going to make our life super easy. And we'll turn around a little bit of cash. We already have the stuff that we need in order to put this in the stash. And so we've got the ginger root right there. We'll put in like... Yeah, that's good enough. Right there, that'll do it. And then we'll just fill the rest with monosodium glutamate. And we're good to go. Put that inside the mixer. I love the music in this game, by the way. It's definitely got kind of like a hip-hop, Breaking Bad, Meth Cook kind of vibe to it that I like it. It doesn't look like a healthy choice to add artificial things to the soy sauce. It has a very distinctive taste, and people will probably notice it right away. Okay. Alright. I mean, it is what it is. I got paid, so I don't really care. I gotta use the rest of these resources up. So, I'm not gonna stress about it. I really, sincerely am not gonna stress about it. I'm just trying to make money. I just got paid like $400 to whip up a bunch of soy sauce in my bathtub. That's like, hey, you make the money the way that you need to make your money in life. Let's go ahead and we'll test things on this. Looks good to me. Looks good to me. Drop that off right there. I don't really care about the feedback. I just want to make $400. That's all that I've ever wanted is to make $400. I woke up as like a baby and was like, what you want to do today? Make $400. Boom. 410. As long as it meets all the criteria, I am not going to stress about the nasty emails that they keep sending over. We have some extra flasks over here. Uh, you do... I think you can rename them. Or you can just drop the flask on the floor and break it. I mean, that's up to you. There you go. You can just throw the flask all over the place and break them. That's the other half of it that you can do. We've got kefir bacteria. So I probably could have gone with ginger root alone on that one, and it probably would have come out perfectly fine. I didn't see soy on the list over here, so I wasn't that worried about it. You can add some acidity right there. I mean, technically, you could just put ginger root in there, and it would probably come out. I mean, the mixture's right. I mean, that's the mixture it was looking for right there. And so we could probably just put 75% ginger root inside of there, and it'd probably turn out perfectly fine. I don't know if they have soy on here anywhere. I would assume that they do somewhere, because they got just about everything else you could ever imagine inside of here. I don't see soy, like, anywhere, though. Capsaicin extract? Yeah, that's got, like, if you put capsaicin in something, that should give things spicy, I think. I think capsaicin is the uh, molecule or whatever inside of a pepper that makes it spicy. Yeah. Okay. Let's go have a look and see what we got going on. We are woke AF right now. We can make a fruit soda right there. It just needs taste and it just needs smell. I think we can do that pretty simply. I don't think that's that big of a deal. We also have soy sauce right there. So it really comes down to what we want to do. With the liquid soap, if we got some of the same things out of there, like with the soy sauce... Let's try. With the soy sauce, my inkling is that we should be able to go... So give me an empty flask. 
And then we'll go back down to the bottom and just give me the ginger extract. And I bet you anything, if we just put 100 ginger in here, it'll be perfectly fine. Because the distribution is already basically just right for this job. So let's put like 100 ginger in there, right? And then we take this over to here and we just drop that up inside of there. Flask doesn't need mixing. It doesn't? Can I just put filler in it then? Like, does that even matter? Like, what if I just put like, um... So we've got the ginger root inside of there. Let's say that I take something cheap and I just put it in there. Just so it'll mix. I don't think sulfuric acid is going to help much. Maple wood. We could put wood inside of there, huh? I don't know if we want to do that. That seems like a bad plan. Like, let's say that I take raw corn. Right? And we take the raw corn right here. And we just put, like, a little bit in that mixture right there. And then we take it over to here. And then we mix this up. I mean, it's basically just being used as an additive. Like, this game is obviously not accurate when you're creating this stuff. It's just a fun little game that you're supposed to be playing to mix up chemical concoctions. And later up on, there's going to be, like, upgrades and stuff like that that make your life more awesome. And the point is just to make as much money as possible for right now. The game's currently still in development. So there's going to be, like, hunger and everything else. And I think it's going to turn into, like, one of those My Summer Car type of games. Uh, let's scan this thing up and see if it works. I bet you it will, though. I bet you it will. So put that right there on the scanner. Yeah, that works. That actually works. Holy shit. Okay, so put that right there. And that's got everything we need in order to make this work. Yeah, sell our corn-based soy sauce, I guess. It's koi sauce. The kind of coin or it's the kind of soy sauce that gives you a wink when you drink it on down. Boom. Nice. We just got paid three hundred and fifty five dollars. Uh, what else do we have in here? We got like a fruit soda that doesn't even need to have like a it just needs taste and smell. That's all that it needs. I bet ginger would give that everything it needs. So we'll sign the contract right there. And now that we've signed the contract, just buy an empty flask and we'll just throw what we have inside of here to make it work. And so, like, we've got some raw corn right there. We've got the ginger root right here. Ginger root should have all the stuff that we need, so we'll empty that on out. And then on this side, we'll just put, like, a little tiny bit of corn extract in there. And then we'll mix it, and we'll just kind of see what happens. How much smell do we need, though? 5%? Oh, we got this. No biggie. And the other part that I don't know about this game is if it takes into account, like, the total, like, so let's say something is 35% smell and 50% taste, right? If I just put that unadulterated inside of there, is that what it is? Like, why can't I just turn that in as my final product if that satisfies all the criteria? Haven't really tried yet, but I'm sort of interested to. So there's a little bit more money right there. We'll go ahead and throw this thing in the scanamajig and see if it makes people happy. So it's 40% flavor. It's got a little bit of density, though. Uh, I wonder if they care about the extra stuff. Maybe I'll hold on to this one for later. I don't know. I don't think turning that one in is going to work, though. So if all they want is fruit, like, I can do that right here. Like, go with, uh, what do we have over here? I need something that's non-acidic. So if they just want flavor and smell... Like, I wonder if the extra stuff even matters... Let's turn it in. Let's see what happens, because we did fulfill the criteria, but it's a little bit thicker than they probably wanted, and it's a little bit more acidic than they probably wanted, but it's a fruit drink. So at the end of the day, I would assume that a fruit drink is probably pretty acidic. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it gave us credit. So apparently, as long as the constituents, the extra stuff is below a certain threshold, you should be fine? I don't know. We made a little bit of money right there, so why worry about it? Now let's go have a look and see what other jobs we have going on. Also, over here, we can be like, fart. Yup. We can write on the whiteboard. I figured that out like five minutes into the game. I figured it out really quickly. Yay! And so now we've written fart on a chalkboard. Did that make your life better? It made my life better. I don't want to do anything too complicated for right now. That requires acidity, it requires smell, and it requires density. We've also got a liquid soap over here that requires smell. They've got a car wax, eh, a bubble bath. I mean, there's a couple of things in here that are a little bit worrying. Bubble bath apparently requires essence of foam, I guess. 
I don't know if these are all going to be any good for me, so we might want to wait for some of these to roll on over until we get some easier contracts. You can refresh your contracts, but it costs you 350 bucks, so be aware, it's going to cost you a little bit of money. Also, in addition, what you can do is you can sleep on your couch for a little while if you want to get your awake bar back at the top. And then once you've done that, you can go back over here and you can check and see which contracts have expired and which ones are no longer an issue. So that's something else that you can do to bypass time just in case you wanted things to be different. And so, like, you know, we can sleep like a crackhead over here for, like, 10 minutes. Apparently, we got to pay rent every 10 minutes. That's a little horrifying. So what do we have going on right here? We got a lemonade. I think a lemonade is doable. I definitely think that's doable. Yeah, let's take the lemonade. So the lemonade over here. Oh, uh, we need 20% flavor, like 10% smell, and like 11% density. Okay, so with the corn, what did that do? Because we have we have citric acid right there. That's going to taste like lemon. That's going to give us the smell, and that's going to give us the acidity that we need. And then what did the cornstarch do for us that we had right here? Where's the raw corn? That gave us a little bit of density. So do I need the density? I do need the density. So technically, we can probably make this work. So if we go back to citric acid, that costs a thousand though. That's super expensive. Good lord. Okay, we can't afford that for right now. Uh, cherry extract, grape, sesame seeds, vanilla, corn, oyster. I need something that's gonna taste like lemon. So on review, fructose will work, but it's kind of expensive. Like that's the part that's really making this difficult is I'm looking for something that's gonna give us the lemon that we need for our mixture. Yeah, I need something that's going to give us the lemon that we need for our mixture, but I needed to do it cheap. And unfortunately, everything with lemon extract is super expensive. So, I'm thinking I'm just going to go with... I think we're just going to have to go with the raw fructose. That's pretty much all we can do. However, that's pretty heavy-duty stuff right there. And so that's our lemon right there. What are we shooting for? We need a lot of smell, we need a lot of flavor, and we need a little bit of density. Okay, well, the corn and the fructose should give us density. So let's go ahead, and I'm just going to put, like, a little bit of that in there. Like, I don't want to use too much of my fructose because it's expensive. I would like it if they made it a little bit easier to transfer contents in between things because sometimes you want a very precise mixture, and it's very difficult to get that. My other thought is that maybe we just fill it in with corn the rest of the way. Because the fructose has a pretty solid amount of flavor and a pretty solid amount of smell. Whereas the corn has a little bit of smell. How much smell do we need? 6%? It also adds a little bit of density to it too. So maybe we put in like... Oh, I don't know. Like maybe that'll do it right there. I don't know. Let's try the mixture out and we'll see what happens. I'm hoping this hits all of the different criteria they want from us. The bare minimum that you could put inside of a flask before you turn it into 75 milliliters, in case you were wondering. So, you really should be saving the extra stuff you have sitting around. If you aren't, you're going to lose money pretty rapidly, and you're going to bleed out pretty fast as far as your work goes. But yeah, this game is called The Chemist. I've been enjoying it so far. I think the game is pretty fun, and I think it's got an interesting concept that hasn't really been explored yet. And that's what I look out for here on the channel, is like really unique stuff. So how much flavor did it need? 20%? Ah, uh, the smell isn't quite right. I think the corn neutralized the smell. So we're going to have to add some more smell to it. Um, I think I can take the fructose and add a little bit more. I think. So let's say that I add like a tiny bit more fructose to it to get the smell where I want it. That didn't really help the smell out at all, but I need the smell to go up to 6.3. So, what's the smell on the fructose? Go back up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, the smell is only 5%. That's what's getting us into trouble. So we need something in here that's going to bring it up a little bit with the remainder. Yeah. I think like a... A peach extract will do it. I think that'll do it. And so we got our mixture over here, right? Yeah, put the rest in there. There you go. And we'll see what we get out. That should shift it up towards... 
There it is. That's what we were going for. We got it. We're not going to fail this mission. This mission's going to be just fine. But yeah, this game's called The Chemist. If you want to get the game for yourself, uh, look down below in the description. I've got something right there. If you want to see more, leave lots of likes and comments. It does help the channel out tremendously, and I very much appreciate it when you guys take the time to do so. And I do read through those comments every single night before I go to bed. I will see you all in whatever comes next. My name is Flattercat. I show off indie games on the internet. It's what I do. I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody.